Hey, Brian. Oh, you've got video. Oh, oh hold on. Let's see if we, that's even better. I can bring you on with video. Let's see here. Let's see if we can bring Brian on. Folks, look at this. Can you hear me, Brian? I can. Oh, wow. You, are we live right now? Uh, well, I'm off my screen right now. Oh, you're so off. Got, okay. We are, you and I are live on my channel. Okay, great. Long time coming. Am I this live This is right an now? incredible moment, I have to tell you. Yeah. Uh, it is so great to have you on. And history, I, history is being made. I, I, I finally, I blinked first. I have to say, I believe that me not having a middle name as part of my branding has probably cost me 300,000 YouTube subscriptions. If I was like David Tyler Pakman, I feel well, like I would what. be killing right now. I'll tell you what, uh, not, not great these days to be named after cryptocurrency. Uh, I, I hope that my stock is higher than cryptocurrency stock is right now. Um, but alas, here we are. Actually, the reason why I have a middle name is because I used to act and there were way too many Brian Tyler Cohen's. I think it was like the 16th. Mm. So I was forced to, to dig deep t to bring my last name into the picture. I think that that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, so what are you thinking right now? How's everything looking from your end? You know, I'll, uh, there's a bunch of people in my chat who are saying it's looking terribly for Democrats, but compared to what it looked like four days ago, it's sort of looking like maybe it's okay. I, I feel cautiously optimistic about this, and here's why. There were a bunch of potential pickup opportunities for Republicans that Democrats have already been able to stave off. Yeah. Michael Bennett out in uh, in Colorado, Seth Magaziner in Rhode Island's second congressional district, Jennifer Waxton in Virginia's 10th congressional district. We have Virginia's seventh congressional district as well that looks to be uh, a hold with Abigail Spanberger. So these were these were like break glass scenarios for uh, for Democrats, and it's not looking like we're succumbing to any of those uh to, to, to those like, you know, disastrous situations, um, from the right right now. I agree. So, you know, we're going to keep an eye on a lot of this stuff, but, uh, even, even, uh, Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock's race is looking pretty good for Democrats right now. So the last update I got on that race, all of a sudden does, does not look quite so good. I don't, I don't yes. know what source okay, you're using. Though, because if you look at, if you look at where the votes are still outstanding, if you look at Columbus, we still have 40% of the votes outstanding. If you look at Augusta, which is another uh, major Democratic population center, we're looking at 15% of the votes still outstanding. That's yeah. in Richmond County. And then all the Atlanta suburbs, we're waiting on, in Fulton County, 30% of the votes still. In, um, in DeKalb County, 30% of the votes still. In Gwinnett County, half the votes still have to come in. And in Cobb County, about 35 percent of the votes. So there's still a lot of uh, a lot of votes left to to be you know to be got by uh, by uh, Raphael Warnock. That is absolutely true, and that must be 10 minutes old data because some of those numbers are, are lower than you just mentioned. And my concern is that the early lead seems heavily skewed. Like the so the latest update now up to 78 percent has pushed Walker into the lead. So listen, I hope you're right. Absolutely. I'm I'm getting a little bit worried about it. Yeah, I mean, look, we wouldn't be Democrats if we weren't a little bit worried. <laughs> exactly. So, um, exactly. All right. Well, I'm going to jump back over to my channel. Let's do this again in a few minutes, if that's okay with you. Yeah, yeah. Just let me. Whenever you're ready, I'll just leave my Skype on. Excellent. Thanks. All Talk right, to you guys soon. Brian, Brian Tyler Cohen, uh, uh, an historic Ooh. moment, ladies and gentlemen, in the uh, in the in David Pakman show.